Dear friends, praise be Jesus Christ. Allow me to address you, first of all, to thank you for the witness you are giving to your fellow Americans. The awakening of consciences is the first step towards liberation from the subversive leadership that has reserved the high places in both national and international institutions. Because opening one's eyes and looking at reality is essential. If you have to understand what is really happening, denounce the globalist coup d'etat and regain the national sovereignty and fundamental freedoms that have been taken away from you. You have all witnessed in recent years a radical change in society, a change planned by people without any electoral mandate and imposed by sold-out rulers. The United States of America like many other nations, hostage to the Agenda 2030, is facing a very serious crisis. Inflation, an out-of-control self-induced migration crisis, human trafficking and child trafficking, rampant crime, and the weakening of law enforcement. The liberalization of crime and impunity, social degradation everywhere. New drugs that ruin the people who take them. The aberration of woke ideology. The LGBTQ plus agenda imposed in schools discriminations against whites. And there is still more. The war against President Donald Trump, the electoral fraud in the presidential election, the Great Reset Plan that seems to be proceeding smoothly, and the bottomless speed of funding a military aid that takes to prolong the conflict in Ukraine thereby covering up the crimes of the Biden family and the Democrats. And a very disturbing new scenario of war in the Middle East. This multi-plunged siege has all the hallmark of an unconventional war that is far more devastating than an armed conflict. This elite wants us to believe that the changes they are imposing on us without any democratic legitimacy are for our good. This seemingly inexorable process has been planned for decades and those who have designed it and are implementing it belong to the openly, to openly anti-Christian and anti-Christic lobbies. Divorce, abortion, euthanasia, gender transition, pedophilia, moral corruption, cancel culture, immigration and manipulated crisis, a way to eradicate every trace of Christian morality from our society and to deliberately create the impoverishment of the population and favor civil war. Their purpose is to divide us, make us enemy of each other, and see us fighting against each other instead of uniting and fighting them. And ultimately, all this chaos 
serves as a pretext to suppress protests with new restrictions. These subversives want at all costs to make us think that there is no alternative, that the crisis they provoke, the pandemic fuss, the climate emergency, the energy and water crisis, the proxy wars are irreversible and inevitable. Today we know that is not so. We have the ability to escape from this hell on earth, and we must. But we can do it only if we understand two important and interconnected things. First, the globalists are certainly very well organized and have enormous economic means. But there are very few, and the members of this tyrannical elite almost have a name and a face, starting with the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, with Bill Gates, George Soros and Klaus Schwab. All their wealth and profits derived from the exploitation of the people and the complicity of the rulers who have been corrupted and brought out. Here too the names are well known. Many politicians and representatives of the leading institution in various nations have participated in the Young Global Leaders for Tomorrow program the school of subversion run by the World Economic Forum. How are the exponents of supranational organization, whose purpose is their own enrichment and our enslavement different from the Mafia? What prevents us from rebelling against them? in the same way that we would rebel against Mafia leaders. The second important thing to keep in mind is that, in this spiritual battle, the globalist elite, however powerful it may seem, obeys Satan, the adversary, the one who is a murderer from the beginning, while we, the people, with all our weaknesses, are aligned with the Almighty God. Do you believe that their master Satan is more powerful than the Lord God? Our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, became incarnate and faced his passion and death on the cross precisely in order to break the chains of sin and death, with which Satan hold us captive. By the redemption, we have been ransomed from the yoke of the devil, and through the grace, we have supernatural assistance in fighting the holy battle against the adversary of mankind. If we understand that the victory has already been won and that God is truly almighty, we also understand that if we side with the Lord and fight with him against this and our enemies, we will share in the victory. The question is not whether God will win over Satan. His victory is certain because Satan has already been conquered on the cross. The question is whether we want to win with God or inexorably lose with Satan. It is God, Almighty God, who holds the destiny of the world in his hand. He is the Lord, the giver of life. We must obey him and him alone.
because he is a good father, wants our good to the point of giving the life of his only begotten son for us. We must believe only in God because he's the truth and he does not deceive us. Come forth in the name of God. Come forth from this horrendous infernal theater set up by subversive criminals who want us dead. Do not allow the deception of this house of horror to become a dystopian reality. Do not let yourself be killed in body and soul by those who hate all that is good, true and beautiful, because it is an image of God and his greatness. React and get up. Wake up, dear friend. Wake up from your slumber and rediscover the pride of serving the good, knowing that God is at your side and that however powerful is and our enemies may seem, he has already won. But he wants us all to participate in this spiritual battle in order to make us shares in his victory and triumph. And if in this battle you also want to help the priests and religious who courageously resist to the tyranny of a corrupt and apostate Catholic hierarchy, you can do so with a donation to Exurge Domine, the international association founded by me that helps pastor faithful to Christ and fights so that the word of God is not silenced, so that the light of the gospel shines in the darkness, so that there may always be priests who offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass to the Divine Majesty. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady and Queen, and Saint Michael the Archangel, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, help us in this endeavor. Do not be deceived, dear friend. Christus vincit, Christus regnat, Christus imperat. And may God bless you all.